Hi Sagittarius, how are you doing? How are you? This is your love reading. We're using tarot and I will try to get as many details as possible. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, but I want to get as many details as possible. Keep what resonates and leave the rest. Two more shuffles. Let's see what is affecting you in your subconscious. King of Cups, you might still have feelings for somebody, but they didn't have feelings for you, or that connection was not that deep, at least from the perspective of one partner here. How can you be or find somebody that is more emotionally stable, confident, knows what they want and need in a connection? What was the main challenge in the past? Problems with communication. It might have started very fast, but it ended that fast as well. Or a person did not want to talk, did not want to tell the truth, was not straightforward, hesitated to communicate. You want to avoid being in a connection where you are trying to force something that is not working something that does not feel natural. It should feel natural for both partners. You don't want to be in a connection where you have insecurities and doubts. Instead, you want to be with that Queen of Cups energy, a loving person, emotionally stable. Look at this, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. You want that maturity and love. Now, what is the current energy? Something has stopped, something is not being expressed, somebody has lost attraction and desire is not showing enough care or attraction. That fire has been diminished, is not that passionate, not that intensive. Now let's see what about the love energy right now. There's some good energy being manifested here. I think it needs more proactive energy, more optimism, more faith in yourself. You have that power to manifest the connection of your dreams. What is something you need to know right now? The world card, the wheel of fortune, the death card at the bottom nine of cups. I think what is something you need to know is that a past cycle is being closed, a new cycle is being created, uh, a connection has been very transformative for you. Some of you need that uh, permission to let go of something that ended and cannot be restarted. I think something better is coming. If you are especially to focus into uh, a past situation, you need to get some detachment. It would help you. Uh, what are the good news? Three of Wands. The ships are coming. Saying as a metaphor, but your manifestation is coming through. You have been waiting, maybe too long, but your dreams will be fulfilled. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Some of you are getting some signs of this improvement, this advancement. Some of you not yet, but keep in mind that this is coming. Success, advancement, progress. And look at what do I have at the bottom of the deck. The Empress, I have the Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. So you're leaving past, uh, you're leaving behind uh, something that was not working, not fulfilling, not giving happiness anymore, and you're going to this better energy. <clears throat> this Empress, this overgrowing love that gives you fulfillment, hopes. This is the love story that you have been looking forward to. 
the Empress energy. Some of you will be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Taurus or a Libra. So that is the good news. Now let's see more details. If you're still thinking or are curious to know about the person that is on your mind, let me tell you that they are very heartbroken. They they are trying to move past it. I think that they are trying to be in a new connection. They might have two options. But even if they are in a connection, in a relationship, uh, their heart has not healed completely from some mini traumas of the past. I'm getting they were affect, affected much more deeply by that separation than you'd imagine or you think about. A very affected, deeply affected person emotionally from that separation. Now it's trying to move forward and start something better. But more healing is needed for them. More healing is needed for this person. Now let's see if you're looking for a new person. Let's see what are the energies there. If you're looking for a new person, I think you may get to know this person through going out more, like having fun more during a party, some interaction with more interactions, pro probably somebody will invite you and you will get introduced to this new person that is a bit guarded. I think you might be the person that would show much interest, more interest in the beginning. They seem resistant. They don't seem to open quite easily to you, but if everything goes right, if they open up later, this has that beautiful energy of being harmonious, mutual, balanced, and possibly long-term and happy with this uh, Ten of Cups. I'm curious now, why are they guarded in general? Why don't they seem to reciprocate your attention and your affection in the beginning because either they are very independent and they are focusing more in their money their career financial independence might be very important for this person or they have uh, set up their mind not to be in a connection in a relationship anymore they are not looking for a, re a relationship that's the moment when you meet this person and they are focused just at work their career while you want to get to know this person more. So that's what I'm getting, but I'm having this impression you will change their mind and you will be in their heart. This has potential. This seems quite, quite promising. So that is the energy of uh, this new person, this new connection, if you're looking for a new person. Now, if you want to support the channel, if you want to know more about this reading, and I will expand on the, those two last spreads about the past person and about, yes, the past uh, person, the person that is on your mind, and the new person. Let's see more about them in the extended, who is coming towards you, what is the energy of your next connection, what is some general important advice about the person that is on your mind, let's see more about their feelings, their true feelings, what are their possible future actions towards you? And if you reconnect it at this moment of time, how that connection energetically would be? Would it be harmonious, healthy, or toxic? Let's uncover all those truths and details in the extended reading that is in the description box below if you are interested and if you want to support the channel as well. Thank you very much in advance. Hope this reading was helpful. See you the next reading and bye for now.